Well, several natural disasters hit corners of the U.S. this summer, forcing families to evacuate, many surrendering their pets to already crowded shelters. Well, now an Omaha animal rescue team tackles a thousand mile journey to give our furry friends a second chance at life. Here's KATV News Watch Evans, Catherine Garcia. In late summer, Tropical Storm Laura swept through the south. As many families were left feeling uncertain, their dogs were left behind. Stacy Smith of Muddy Paws Rescue says, sadly, this happens often. A lot of people just, you know, when the hurricanes come, just kind of abandon their dogs or um, surrender them to shelters, um, and they just get overloaded down there. One shelter in South Texas pleaded with the rescue organization to save 13 dogs on a euthanasia list. It's a 15 hour drive um, from Del Rio where these dogs came from. <laughs> including a one year old Husky named Toga. She's really just a sweet girl, wants to be around you and wants to play all the time, which is not unusual for a Husky. Over six years, Suzanne Brindley has fostered 35 animals, many who have survived natural disasters. Oh, good girl. There's a lot of reasons I think people foster. The biggest one for me is knowing that I save a life. With Toga under her wing, Brindley waits until a new family can adopt the small and spunky husky. It's hard, <laughs> very hard every time saying goodbye to them, but it, it's pretty much always, I know they're going to the better fit for them. As they adjust to their foster families, Toga and the 12 other pups will go through Muddy Paws behavioral training until they find their way back to a loving home. In Council Bluffs, Catherine Garcia, KETV, Newswatch 7. Looking for forever families. Well, Muddy Paws Rescue hopes that more families can foster and adopt these animals. If you're interested, visit MuddyPawsSecondChanceRescue.com.